Sometimes, what we think we know and what we actually know are two very different things. That's one of the reasons we do research. Hi, I'm Walt Boys, editor of Control and ControlGlobal.com with another market intelligence report from the Process Automation Media Network. This report surveys temperature instrumentation. We conducted a survey of Control's readership in early April 2009 to identify usages and application trends among the process automation professionals who comprise our readership. We received well over 100 responses. We found that nearly all of our readers use temperature instrumentation for process control and process monitoring. But environmental monitoring is also a large application as are quality control and environmental control. Now here's where the survey data gets really interesting. A huge majority of the respondents say they connect to standard analog 4 to 20 transmitters or directly to a controller, a PLC or a PAC's I.O. Less than half of our readers say they connect temperature sensors to heart transmitters, fewer than a quarter use foundation field bus transmitters, and less than 10% use profibus transmitters for temperature. Digging deeper into the data, we find that in more than 50% of applications, about half of our respondents would use a standard analog-only transmitter. When asked what percentage of their temperature transmitters are heart smart, over half of our respondents say that heart temperature transmitters accounted for under 10% of their total number of transmitters. Only 18% said that more than 50% of their temperature transmitters were heart. Similar returns came from our respondents when asked about Profibus temperature transmitters. 89% said that fewer than 10% of their temperature transmitters were Profibus enabled. And less than 1% said they had an inventory of more than 50% Profibus temperature transmitters. Slightly more of our respondents said they had Foundation Field Bus temperature transmitters, but only slightly. 80% said the number of foundation field bus enabled temperature transmitters at their plant was less than 10 percent of the total. After nearly two decades of vendors extolling the virtues of field bus enabled transmitters, whether heart or profibus or foundation, it seems the end users haven't taken the bait in any quantity yet. The next big thing is wireless, and there the numbers once again are interesting. Just over half our respondents say they aren't going to buy wireless temperature transmitters in the next 12 to 18 months. But 21% say they will, and almost 30% said they were undecided as yet. It may be that the end users are still waiting to see how the wireless standards wars play out. When asked which wireless sensor protocol they would most likely select, Wireless Heart was ahead of ISA 100.11a by a nose with a sizable number still opting for various proprietary protocols or the Zigbee protocol. Some surprising data about temperature transmitters here. What we think we know is not always what we ought to know. This has been a market intelligence report on temperature transmitters and I'm Walt Boys reporting for the Process Automation Media Network.